Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. So if you're just seeing this channel for the first time, this is Jackpa with the Days. On this channel, we discuss relocation opportunity to Portugal, where we reside, to uh, Austria, and other beautiful European countries, where we believe that uh, you are going to have a cheap and affordable relocation experience. And uh, uh, going by one of our subscribers' comments, which he said, and I quote, uh, go straight to the point, no long introduction. So today I'm not going to do any long introductions. You all know that this channel is all about, I mean, more of the content we produce on this channel is all about uh, vocational opportunity or trade program opportunity to Europe. So I want to talk about another cheap and affordable vocational opportunity to Europe. So I researched into Canada and, I, and to my amazement, I discovered that there are many vocational opportunities in Canada that have very cheap and affordable programs for international applicants. And I'll be talking about eight of them today. Yes, eight vocational opportunity, the eight vocational institutes in Canada that you can look forward to applying to. Yeah, before I move forward, I know that there are I mean, there, are, there, are, there has been some few changes in Canada that, uh, you know, is making a whole lot of, uh, that is making life difficult for international applicants, among other few changes. But of course, there are still work around with, with respect to some of this policy, especially relating to proof of funds. Now, the idea is this, if, the, if your tuition fee is, um, is very cheap, especially with the information I'll be sharing today, if your tuition fee is very cheap and affordable, that will make the proof of funds or the money that you have to put in your account to be able to get a, a study permit or postgraduate work permit to be very affordable. As, as, yeah, exactly. Because when I researched into this um, institute, I was looking at program by program, the cost, the tuition. I was seeing some 2000 3000 Canadian dollar 2,000 Canadian dollar, 1,005 Canadian dollar, different courses, okay? Depending on the type of course that you want to apply for, that is what will determine the amount of money that you can expect to put in your bank account as proof of funds. So which means the policy in some ways are not affecting any, I mean, are not affecting people that much, okay? So that is why you have to, uh, I've, I've said it, that's why you have to look into um, a trade school because it provides you job opportunity during the program, even after the program. It's, it, it, it shows you the pathway to be able to establish yourself and legally reside in any choosing country of your choice. So that is why I mostly prefer that if I'm going to start my uh, JAPA or relocation plan again, I would prefer to look into trade school or vocational school to be able to, you know, help myself out there compared to traditional school where you study BSc, MSc, or PhD. So let's quickly look straight into this eight school. I will not try, I will not bore you. I will leave the introduction, I will leave the link for each of these schools on the, on the description, video description, so that you'll be able to do extensive research. And one other thing that I'm, I mean, I need to quickly say before I forget, is that uh, for you to, for some of these school, you need to, before you, you, you invest deeper into, into them, try to ask them if they will be able to provide you a postgraduate work permit after studying that particular course that you want to study there, okay? Especially for carpentry, all of those courses that you want to do. Yes, Canada needs all of those kind of skills. I mean, there is no doubt about that, but you need to find out if the school has the capacity to be able to issue postgraduate work permits to you before you apply to those school or before you invest in those school. So, because if you get to that school, if you get to the Canada, if you get to Canada, and at the end of the day, after your program, if you are unable to, um, if you are unable to get postgraduate work permit, which is the end goal of you going there to study. Then I mean you'll be so you have to send an email or you know make further extensive inquiry regarding some of these informations that I'll be sharing to you, particularly relating to this trade school that I'll be sharing with you today. So you know I said I will, I don't want to no long introduction. So let's quickly go into them. Now the first trade school that I'll be talking about today is called Oland College, Oland College, and these are some of the trade programs that they have 
are available depending on your area of uh, specializations, nursing, health, medical, engineering. So that would determine what area of um, 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 trade programs or diploma program that you will apply for. For instance, uh, in, in within industrial technology and trades, they have um, automotive technology, carpentry, constructions, electrical, you know, a bunch of them. I, I don't want to bore you with all of this information that you can do on yourself. So I just want to go straight to the to the point, the name of the school. Now, this is Oland College, okay? They have a bunch of this information. So do extensive research about them, and the beauty of it is they teach them in English, okay? All the program, about 99% of the program here, they teach them in English, okay? Now, let's quickly look at... Um, Let's quickly look at one of the program or one of the course to, you know, have an idea of what they charge, okay? Now, um, this is uh, for construction electrical, for construction electrical. So for international applicants, they said the tuition fee is 10,000 10, Canadian dollar to 560, uh, 10,560 Canadian dollar, you know, with other fees, you know, um, what, 1,618, all in total is 14,000, 14,000 Canadian, 14,058 Canadian dollar, okay? I mean, this is a little, uh, a little on the high side, but um, this one is, uh, I think, uh, for carpentry, yes, for carpentry, 13,353. The beauty of this, of this, uh, from, from everything I've, you know, I've seen about this eight school, this seems to be the highest, so far, I will show you others now, okay? But there are other, you know, courses that are very cheap, especially relating to, um, uh, you know, the health related nursing, uh, you know, and some other courses are very cheap in this school. So it depends on the type of course that you are looking for. That is what we determine the amount of money that you can expect to uh, put in your uh, bank. That is why I want to give you at least eight options. So you don't have um, any excuse to say, oh, this school and college is very expensive for the kind of course I want to do. So when you have eight different school with similar programs, then you'll be able to compare fees and the one that meets the required fees that you're looking for and you apply to, you can you know, go ahead and apply to them. So without bore, boring you more with this, uh, information. Now, that is for Oland College. So, like I said, do extensive research regarding their courses and the and the name, uh, I mean, the name of the school and, you know, do mail them to find out if they will be able to provide you further information about uh, uh, relating to postgraduate work permits, okay? Now, this is another school, okay? The name of the school is called Thompson Rivers University School of Trades and Technology. Thompson Rivers University School of Trade and Technology. So, and as you can see on my screen, they have um, a bunch of um, uh, trade programs. This is carpentry. Now, uh, for, for instance, in carpentry that we just checked at Oland College, they are charging about 13,000 plus. In here, for a foundation program that you will be applying for, foundation program is charged 5,376 for a year. The same, in fact, you see it here, the tuition fee, the exact tuition fee is 3,277 Canadian dollar, which of course, all other expenses that have been factored into the program, which makes the total fee to be 5,376. And the other school is about, is, is expecting you to pay 13,000 Canadian dollar, but this is asking you to pay only five. That, that's why I said, I will give you at least eight options, eight different schools, similar programs, then you'll be able to choose which of the course is, is, is um, I mean, meet the kind of uh, 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 course that you're looking for and which fee particularly relates to your budget. So this is for a uh, school of trace and technology at Thompson Rivers. Um, and, and, and again, also, they also have different courses. And yes, generally the eight vocational program that I'm talking about are currently accepting application now. So there is, I'm not going to be telling you that, oh, this particular school application will close by now. So you don't have any, I won't give you that kind of information. You do your extensive research. Eight of them are currently accepting application. So you have to, as much as possible, apply to them as soon as possible so that they will be able to prepare because usually most of them are resumed by September or by October of every year, <clears throat> okay? So you have to start applying to them ASAP, okay? Now that is for that is that about them. 
And then, yes, in that same school, for instance, uh, if you want to go learn plumber or plumbing, right? Okay. And then, so for plumbing, uh, how much are you expected to pay for plumbing? For in total cost, 4,264 Canadian dollar. So depending on the course that you want to go for, that is what will determine the amount of money that you can expect to pay for. So that is uh, for um, Thompson Rivers College. Now let's quickly check another school, another school. This is uh, Saskatchewan Polytechnic. It's, a, it's another trade school as well. And you know, see, uh, all of, they are also accepting application. That's why you're seeing apply now active on their screen as well. Okay, so you can do extensive research regarding the uh, the program. I mean, the shortest program that I've seen so far on each of the trips or on each of the eight trips to is at least a year, and they have two years, three years. Some even offer degree programs. Yeah, some of them even offer those trade programs as a degree. You know, as a degree. Yeah. So, and then yeah, start date uh, that is uh, September. And then yes, so <clears throat> that is uh, that is the, now. Let's quickly look at the uh, the tuition fee for uh, yeah. Let's quickly look at tuition fee for this particular school. For instance, so they said depending on the type of course that you want to do, the uh, average on on an average you can expect to be paying this amount of money as your tuition fee nine thousand six hundred and fifty Canadian dollar. So it depends on the type of course, but they say on an average this is what you can expect to pay. Okay, and you know they also have similar courses, just like we talked about on the two previous schools. So I won't bore you more. I will leave the link on the video description so that you can do your own extensive research about this school. Now, this is Nova Nova Scotia Community College, Nova Scotia Community College, and then uh, their own tuition fee for international applicants is eleven thousand six hundred and ninety Canadian dollar. They also have different uh, courses. And yes, most of the uh, trade school program that uh, you can expect to apply for, that you want to apply for uh, with your own level or WAHEC or you know, any of those programs, they accept it. Just get it stamp stamped at the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your country before using it to apply. So with all level, you are good to go to apply for any of these trade programs. So yes, so this is NOVA. Scotia Community College, and they accept um, um, O level for application submission. And then, yes, minimum of about one year program. So it depends on how many years of the trade program that you want to apply for. That will, will also influence the price or the amount of money that you can expect to pay. For instance, for instance, pipe trades for one year, they have pipe trades for two years. So you can, uh, if you have, if you want to ask for further information. You know, you can just go through the contact sessions of the school to gather more information regarding the school. And I think this is the fifth or fifth or the third or fourth school. Yes. And uh, so this is um, not leading Polytechnic com committed to your success. Yes. This is um, this is another trade school. So, for instance, let's look at. Uh, Let's look. Yes, it's another polytechnic. So let's look at, for instance, automotive service technician. <clears throat> this is one of the program offered in that school. So let's say, for instance, the tuition fee that uh, one can expect to pay, okay, for period. I think by period, yeah, they are talking about, uh, uh, that is, you know, that is what I feel they are talking about by period. They're talking about semester. So for, for each semester, they expect you to pay this 1,000 for 1,048 Canadian dollar. Every, so I think it's spread across the, so which means uh, for the fourth semester for the trade program, you can expect to pay the same amount, 1,042, which is about uh, 1,200 and something Canadian, sorry, that is 4,200 and something Canadian dollar in total for the whole duration of the program. But of course, with other, you know, petty, petty expenses relating to books, materials, and all other expenses are also um, separated from this particular fee. So, but, you know, as you can see it in front of you here, that is for, <clears throat> that is for automotive service technician, but we also have other programs as well that you can look into, okay? Now, that is that about that school. 
And this is another one, Lakeland College. Lakeland College also have different programs, similar programs as we've talked about with different procedure. And then so carpentry, electrician, automotive tech, automotive service technician, part technician, welder, heavy equipment. Okay. So you will be the one to determine um what so for instance, let's say uh, we want to look at uh, one of carpenter, carpentry as an example, as an international, let's do the fee calculation. So as an, are you an international student? Yes. Uh, program of course, carpentry period two, let's say full year. So how much are both feeding, accommodation, off campus, rent and everything, how much are you expected to budget as an estimated fee? See what their calculator brought out for us based on that uh, simulation. So est estimated fees, you are expected to pay at least 5,410 Canadian dollar, including tuition fee um, and only and some other expenses, accommodation and some other expenses for this school. Okay, so and again, don't forget it also depends on the type of course that you want to go for. So that is called Lakeland College. So I don't I didn't want to bore you too much about each of this information. That is why I said you will sit down with your own laptop and do extensive research about each of the school, then you can apply to them. <clears throat> now, this is another college and it is called Mohawk Future Ready. Mohawk Future Ready, they also deals with skilled trades and apprenticeship. So if you want to apply for any trade course related, this is another school that you can deal extensively with you know, and they also offer uh, 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 bachelor programs in this in each of these trade programs. Okay, they are the 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 program that they offer. You know, is almost equivalent or is equivalent, not almost, is equivalent to a bachelor program. So which means you can expect to be taking those courses within two to three years in each of these school. And of course, um, you can uh, you can uh, you know do your own research regarding their fees, and if it meets your budget, good luck. To you now. Um, this is Kenyano College, Kenyano College, and this is uh, yes, Kenyano. Yes, Kenyano College. So pipe trades, as an example, let's quickly check pipe trade. The cost that you can expect to pay for pipe trade. Okay, um, uh, the pipe trade employment program. Yeah, let's see if we can get <clears throat> more information. Yeah, exactly. Pipe trade, let's see, tuition fee for the year 2024, 2025 session, tuition fee. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, no, this is, this is, uh, this is very much well. Maybe it's because of this pipe trade, but this is very much no, no, no. Twenty thousand Canadian dollar for what? I mean, disregard. I mean, for this particular course. But I will leave it. I will still leave it there. Search if your own course in terms of the fee is affordable. But for pipe trade program that I just selected for international student, that is too much. That is too much. Okay. So, but. Other other courses can be you know can be very cheap, but you know I will I will ask you officially to, to disregard this particular school, okay? So these are the eight school that I wanted to talk about. Of course, I will expect that uh, you will do your own extensive research. Like I said, I will be leaving the link on the video description so that you can do extensive research regarding each of the course and your program. And if you have any concern whatsoever, mail the school directly so that they can give you extensive information or answer any questions or query that you might have. Yeah, I have a friend that moved to one of the trade school in Canada last year and is doing, I think within a week or two weeks that he got there, he got a job and he even mailed me and told me, yo, yeah, bro, I, I don't get job. Oh, yeah. And some people that have been there for like a month or two, they have not gotten a job, but he was very lucky to, you know, quickly secure a job within two weeks that he got there. But that is, I can only provide as much uh, as very little information regarding his own steps that we did together. But, you know, every other steps, I might not be able to provide you extensive information regarding that. But that's why I said I will leave the video, uh, the video description or the school descriptions or uh, the video website, uh, the school website rather on my, on the video, maybe school, do extensive research about them. If what you see is what you want, 
you are good to go. Yeah. So, of course, if you have any other question, feel free to ask. I will try as much as possible with the best of my knowledge and the information that I have in my capacity, provide them to you. So, this is Jack Bob with the ideas. Once again, like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notification. It's an honor to have brought this away once again. Bye bye for now.